648 on Channel 957, Tuesday morning of Turkey Day Week. Turkey Day Week. Turkey Day Week. Tuesday morning of Turkey Day Week. We just put up a uh, picture of my Christmas tree, and of course, the one guy to comment said, It's not even Thanksgiving yet. No, it is not. <laughs> No, it is not. And I don't care. I like that you have little uh, snow underneath it, though. Thanks. You know, that's nice. And you got Santa living on top. You got uh, Mm -hmm. some chipmunks and a very tiny snowman living at the bottom of the tree. And Poof is underneath it. Poof is? His urn is. I know. Is that where he used to hang? Loved it. Really? He loved being under the tree. Was he in the tree, too? No, he never climbed it. He oh, just la- he, he just laid underneath it, and wow. I have some awesome pictures of him sleeping underneath the tree. And I can't talk about it a lot because I'll cry. He never climbed it that she knows. Remember when she told us that he never went on any <laughs> of the counters or anything, and then <laughs> she was uh, she was out of town, and her neighbor took all the pictures uh, of uh, her old cat uh, sitting on the countertop, click 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 click, just looking out the window. I don't know him. that he could have gotten into it, only because I like trees that are super full. Okay. You know what I mean? So there wasn't there there was never enough space for him to be able to. Okay. He, he was so poofy. He never came home from a weekend. It was on its side, he's, or he's all sticky. No. <laughs> or he's stuck in there. <laughs> Boop, <laughs> what you, what's wrong, buddy? No, but I put his urn under there. After oh. we put it up, I put his urn under there, and then I sat there and cried for like an hour. Oh, my goodness. I know. And then did you push play on one of the chipmunks, and then they sang? <laughs> I did, because he used to lay under the tree. I always put them under the tree. An old friend of mine got me those. And, um, and that little Santa underneath it is really funny because it dances and sings. Okay. So those are my dancing and singing things under the tree. <laughs> and Poof would sit there. Remember Poof's face? Yes, Poof was angry all the time. And he just looked like, Rrr. Yeah, why are you doing what this? What is that? And he would just stare at them. <laughs> it was very <laughs> funny to me. So I put him under the tree again. What are you doing singing there, what? little buddy? <laughs> <laughs> little chipmunk. Why are you so happy? You know, I eat chipmunks. That's what I do. <sighs> but he never ate them. No, he did not. Did he ever, uh, like, bat at them? No. No. Okay. He would go nose to nose with them and sit there and stare at them. <laughs> like literally nose is touching. Your move, Theodore. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it, Simon. I got this album. Uh, we, we, yesterday we started telling you about Connie and Curtis's Christmas Kids. We are doing that again this year. Yeah, with DHS, we got uh, the Hope Network involved this year too. Yep. And it's different. It's not picking a kid and getting them a gift because uh, we now are focusing on the kids who are entering foster care between now and now. And Christmas, so yep. we don't know about these kids. We and don't like know who they are. And like 60 of them on average, like 65 kids enter. Right. That seems so high. That's two a day. Yeah, That means crazy. on Thanksgiving, while you're eating and watching the Lions, two kids Aww. will enter foster care. So we are looking for gifts for them, and we have it broken down to age ranges. Yep, so all you have to do is go to mychannel957.com, go to the Connie and Curtis, Curtis page, uh, Connie and Curtis's Christmas Kids, and then just whatever age group you want to buy for, or all age groups. Yeah, I mean, if you have uh, if you have some kids that you're already buying for, you just maybe yep. grab it, an extra thing and pop it in your cart, and then uh, send it on over to the DHS, drop it off. We were so happy last year because when we went over to the DHS to see all the presents that all of our listeners had bought, right? Um, conference room was filled, so we're hoping that this year we can make that happen again. Well, and yesterday okay. uh, I was out talking and uh, I met Shannon. Shannon works out at Wolverine. Mm-hmm. She handed me a whole envelope of uh, Visa gift cards and iTunes gift cards uh... and said, give that to uh, to Wendy and to the uh, the kids. So that, That's uh, awesome. We already have something started. So if you want to be a part of it, uh, check it out. From zero to 18. These kids could use a little a little spirit and brightening this year. So what are we doing? You have until like December 10th or something? Is that the date, Nick? Uh, I believe it's our Next. last meeting with her is the 8th. The so. 8th. Okay. So yeah, yeah. so I think yeah. you have until like the 10th. I think the 10th uh, tenth is that when they just want to get everything all lined up. They want to know what they have. Mm-hmm. So the, uh, the kids now who are in foster care, they will give them to them. But the kids who are going to enter between uh, like the last week of Christmas, right. they just want to have the stuff stockpiled right. so that they can just say, and here you are. You know, it, it's tough and, and you, you have something new happening to you. And it, it's not a good time in Hopefully your life. Hopefully this will make it a little bit better. Yeah, a little brighter. So yeah. uh, any toys that you're buying for your own kids, just grab another one and then send it on over to the DHS. That would be awesome. It would be so cool. Because it's almost, oh my gosh, Christmas is one month from today. Is it exactly a month? It's November 25th. Oh. I didn't even know it. I didn't, I didn't even know the date. Today I just looked at the date. Wow. I never know the date. I'm bad at dates. You know, I really don't either. I don't know dates. No, I don't either. Why is that? Uh, We don't need to Well, we don't write them down, I guess. Right, and we don't, like when you're in elementary school, you have to write the date at the top of your page every day. Mm -hmm. We we lost that. We don't do that anymore. But Mm. I put it there for you. 
Do you tell me the date? Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Where? You just don't ever look at it. It's oh, on okay. your sheets. Oh, yeah, I don't. I never do. It's know. not all your stuff, Curtis. Oh. <laughs> that he probably doesn't even look at the stuff yeah. you do for him, Nick. So is my name. My name is on all that stuff. I just assume that Nick just, that's all just sitting there. Like, I didn't know any of that stuff was useful. No, I appreciate <laughs> that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, You don't Nick. know I'm useful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nick gives me a big pile of stuff every day, and I just go, oh, thanks. And I just put it in my bag and say, I guess I maybe need this for later. <laughs> wait till he's not looking. And throw it all away. I do. I, I throw it away as part of whatever uh, <laughs> there toward the end of the show. Oh, I just nice. don't. Uh, I didn't know. We need to have like some useful meetings where people tell me what's going we on. We do have meetings, and you sit useful there and talk ones. during the whole time. Because they're You boring. talk during the entire meeting about stupid things. They're boring. Not about business things. They're boring. You're boring. You are. What was I just reading about work today? Were you saying that I'm boring? <laughs> no, you're not boring. <laughs> no. What Interruptive we... is more how I would describe oh, you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting Moo. cow. <laughs> <laughs> that one. That it never it gets old. It always makes me laugh. <laughs> that never gets old. I love that joke. So interruptive. And it could be any animal. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Interrupting sheep. Interrupting sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have to be a cow. <laughs> right? Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting skink. Interrupting skink who? Yeah, they don't make a noise, so it didn't really work. I guess it doesn't work with any animal. Uh, no. I thought that it did. What did you read about at work? <laughs> See, this is what our meetings are like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I get lost. I'm sorry. That uh, we all only spend about 45% of our time at work actually working. 45 Not even half. What do we do the other 55 or 60 <sighs> or whatever? Like 14%. Here's the breakdown. 14% okay. of the time we are emailing, not about work. Okay. 12% of the, of the time we are doing administrative tasks. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, 9% of the time we're actually in useful meetings. Oh, Nice. But then 7% of the time, we're not in useful meetings. Yeah, I'm in those. Those are the ones I go to. We're in to. useless meetings. That's the ones I go to. Uh, web surfing, uh, dealing with interruptions, coworkers talking to you, that kind of thing. Dealing time. with interruptions, knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting Boo. cow. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you say interruptions, just go ahead and fire that one off. Yeah, you should. I mean, that's classic. That's the best joke ever. Nick, Nick is that pretty much the funniest joke you've that's ever heard? That's pretty much the funniest joke. You will always see me laughing at that. Yeah, try it on it's me. It's always funny. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow who? Hoo-ha, moo. What? <laughs> <laughs> you don't quite have it. You don't quite have it. No, I don't have it down yet. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> moo. That was close, though. What, what was that? Caitlin, you want to give it a that's, shot? That's a cow being milked. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't ready to be milked, <laughs> and then it was being milked. All right, we're going to let Caitlin give it a right. shot. Okay. okay. I don't know Caitlin. if I can do that. Uh, I think you can. <laughs> I think you can, too. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting Kyle. In. Interrupting, interrupting Kyle. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it. Nick has ruined the joke Why for you. Why are you so hard about that? Nick, you didn't even interrupt. <laughs> she waited. <laughs> the end. Nick is ruined. Here is, here is the joke. Okay. Knock, knock, Connie. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Moo. Moo. Yes. Nick got yes. it. Nick got yes. it out. <laughs> but that was the other. You guys are too polite for that joke. Yeah. See, Curtis is used to interrupting people all the yes. time. <laughs> yeah, here's Nick. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow who? Moo. No, here's Nick. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow who? <laughs> Moo. <laughs> <laughs> like you were shocked that he was going to say. <laughs> I like Nick's version better. <laughs> I think I like Nick's version better. <laughs> <laughs> it interrupts Moo. your train of thought. <laughs> That's a good one. Who did that? That was me. Yeah, you're good at that. Uh, no, I, I just go moo. It. You go moo. Do you see that our yelling goats are in a commercial? No, you keep telling me that. Oh, crap. Do I? I, I never <laughs> see them. I never see the commercial, though. Oh, what is it about? How does it go? I can't remember. How does it go? Like something happens, and then they go, yeah. And then it sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. can't remember what the commercial is. Great commercial. <laughs> and that guy's in it? Yes, he's totally, and he's, his like face is in it. We his see him? His body's in it. Yeah, we see him and Like he does from that. the video. It's him from the yeah. YouTube video? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That is funny. Have you seen the. This is Connie and Curtis talking about what we have and haven't seen on TV. <laughs> Go ahead, Connie. I'll tell you what. What day was it? I don't know. Probably Saturday. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
TV was on and that stupid. I know you're mad, Jake. Oh, my I know goodness. you're mad, Jake. You're I'm not, mad. You're I'm so not mad. mad. I know you're mad. I'm not mad. Jake, you're so <laughs> mad. Oh. MG, I let every time that commercial comes on, I stop what I'm doing. Okay, what is that commercial for? I know you're mad, Jake. It's a, I think it's a Buick commercial. Because I've seen that car. commercial a million times. It's a car. I sing the song. I don't know what it is for. <laughs> I, I know, know you're mad, mad, Jake. Also, uh, Jake, I know you're mad. Yesterday or two days ago, my three girls, eight, nine, and twelve, yeah. were arguing about the eight nine nine four five five two nine nine nine. They were arguing about those numbers. And that's in a uh, commercial too. I don't know what the commercial was for. <sighs> they were arguing. They're like, "No, it's four five five two nine nine nine." And I'm like, "Wait, what? I know that commercial. Why are you I can't fighting? think of what it is." They were arguing. The three of them picking at each other. That's hilarious. And they weren't really arguing with one another. No. One of their class, one of their students, didn't uh-huh. know it, and they were trying to teach the student, a made up imaginary student in this class. So Haley's the principal. Mm-hmm. Elizabeth and Charlotte are the teachers. They're co-teaching, and they're screaming at a doll. No, it's one eight hundred four five five no nine nine nine. And they're teaching the kids uh, this stupid song, and they're screaming at them. <clears throat> no, it's not four two nine one. nine nine. Yeah. So the I know you're mad, Jake. Is dodge, dodge dart. dart. Yeah. I know hey, Jake, you're mad. come on over here for a sec. Here it is. Why you want to touch my dart so bad? <laughs> Why does he want to touch? Who said I wanted to touch? Jake, you know they got affordable leasing program. You never even knew Just what it was think, for. Just think, Jake, you could get your own and you could touch it whenever you want it. You could touch it all the time, all the time. I don't want to touch you now. I know you're mad, Jake. You gotta get your own. I'm not mad. I know you're mad. Jake, but you got to get your own. I know you're mad, Jake. Yeah, Just laughing at TV commercials. That's what we do. Oh. That was a short version. Oh, that's I funny. Gypped. I know you're mad, Jake. <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad. Because there's one where he does it the whole <laughs> not commercial. Not mad at all. Uh, not mad at all. But you know what? It's like funny because we laugh about it, but we had no idea what no. it was for. Like that in 2999. I have no so idea. So is that what that's bad? For. That's bad advertising then, right? Or is it great advertising? I don't know. It's hilarious. Because then we're like, I, I know, know you're mad, mad, Jake. And then somebody know who does mad, know what it's about then thinks goes, about the Dodge Dart. Oh, yeah. I better run right out and buy a Dodge Dart. Oh. <laughs> Will Darge Dot. <laughs> I know you mad Darge. <laughs> uh, we're good at this. We are super we're good at this. At this. I know. Honey and Curtis.